the flight delays that started last week continue today even in Tulsa. News on 6's Emery Bryan has this story. A high school basketball team from Collinsville got to the airport early, 4.30 in the morning, only to be told they might not be going anywhere, at least on a plane. They were part of a large crowd at the Southwest ticket counter trying to regroup after delays and cancellations. And then, like I said, we're going to try to haul these other 15 people down to Dallas to catch our flight to Orlando. So we're hoping we can drive that four and a half hours uh, quickly to get down there and catch that flight. Dylan Brewer spent time looking for luggage for his father. Been in here for two days now, never made it out. He ended up getting a second flight to get out, but bags are stuck along with everyone else's bags. Even though all of the airlines had their issues, most of the problems with flights not leaving and bags not arriving was with Southwest. In Tulsa, they had several canceled flights and hundreds of misdirected bags. With the weather clearing, most airlines had only slight delays, but Southwest was still recovering from the disruption. We were supposed to go back home for the holiday. Yeah. Both of our families are in Chicago, like all of them. So that didn't happen. So now we're just still trying to go. It took all morning, but the Collinsville girls basketball team finally left. Some on a plane, the rest on a bus bound for Dallas. They're set to play in a tournament Tuesday night. It's a process. On our way to Orlando, hopefully. In Tulsa, Emory Bryant, Oklahoma's own News on 6.